Uh, I've been involved with uh, Kalso Golf Classic for the past five months and it's been a great experience for me. I've traveled around the country, you know, from south to north to East Malaysia to every other parts of Malaysia, you know, even a Malaysian, Malaysian would dream of. Uh, starting, uh, starting, it was started in the uh, first and second week of June, July. Uh, it was a good, good month to start, you know. Uh, in between there was Ramadan, but then after we carried on our way, uh, doing different legs, around 40 legs around the country for the pre preliminary legs, and then we come today at national finals, right? Uh, during the four or five months time, you know, I've uh, learned quite a bit of golf. I went to a few driving courses for some driving lessons and I, I think I can hit around 200 yards <laughs> with a driver now. So it's quite an improvement. Uh, uh, the experience I would say you know, is one of the best uh, during my stay in Malaysia because not only I, I, I'm a sportsman or I'm a sports lover because uh, Carlsberg, uh, Carlsberg Golf, you know, as a as a as an event for Carlsberg, is a platform that you know retains our loyal loyal consumers. It has been here for over 17 years and it's one of the longest running amateur tournament in whole of Malaysia. So that's uh, that makes me proud, even proud, you know. And uh, <clears throat> the reason, you know, we are sus still sustaining and we are still doing with Carlsberg Golf Classic is you know, the golfers are the actual, you know, actual consumers of Carlsberg. Uh, the day-to-day -day golfers, for them, uh, Carlsberg Golf Classic is a reward. It's a reward, an annual event or a reward for them for being loyal to Carlsberg, right? And it's also a platform to recruit new consumers, you know, who are Tiger consumers or who are our competition brand consumers. We take them and <coughs> convert them to Carlsberg <coughs> through this platform. So <coughs> it's a good platform for our company to build our customer base, you know, to retain our customer base. Uh, and it's also, you know, a good platform for us because, you know, uh, you get out to north, you get out to south, you meet different people, you make PR with them, you know, you talk about the brand, you talk about Carlsberg Golf Classic, you talk about good things, you talk about bad things, you know talk about the experience we talk about the experience our experience and we share you know uh, so it's about building relationship also so Gaspar Golf Classic is not for not only for Gaspar as a brand but only also for you know PR, PR building for person to person relationship right so <coughs> what else, what else? yeah Mr. Sort of one question huh? uh -huh. since you've traveled around the country huh? uh, in Malaysia in Sabah which golf course do you think uh, that uh, I mean that you've got very close sentimental values, okay. uh, uh, most memorable experience? Okay. Uh, one of the best courses I've been was uh, one in Lezen because it was set in a beautiful background of all the palm palm plantations and you know lakes, and also because it was uh, designed by legend of golf, Arlo Palmer and uh, Jack Nicholas. So maybe that was one of the point, but. In my opinion, the best, you know, the best of the best, I would say, I would say, it was still in Tawau or Koningau. Tawau, yes, Tawau. Uh, it was so beautiful that I was awestruck soon. I, the moment I saw it, <coughs> there was one course, you know, where you had to drive your ball and you didn't know where your ball was going. So that was quite an experience for me, you know, watching golfers drive the ball but didn't see where the ball was <laughs> at the end of the place. And I also heard a story about. <coughs> One of our DSM and RSM uh, taking about 20 to 25 strokes just to finish a par 3. Well, I think it was par 4. So I think it's quite a challenge, Tawag, of course. Hello. <coughs> what do you think? I'm in the meeting. Tawau and East Malaysia has also been an experience for me because, uh, mm. you know, the people in East Malaysia are so kind, so courteous, so, you know, down to earth. What do you think, huh? They come to you. You come to them, you go to them, they come to you as easily as anything, you know. Uh, they'll mix with you, they'll gel with you, they'll go around with you, they'll have time for you, they'll spare time for you. Uh, and, you know, the place is, place is absolutely amazing. Not only people, but the landscapes, the hills, you know, the 
crockeries, the beaches, the marble islands. So oh, I simply loved it when I saw it for the first time. Okay, Mr. Oh. Soron, thank you very Mr. much for the interview. Thank you, Mr. Dev, for giving me an opportunity. It is an honor. Thank you. Please.